California so far? Is it fun? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, the fan support, man, has been amazing. And just, you know, just the, the, the whole gist of Cali life, I think, has been been uh, awesome so far. Well, don't get too relaxed out there in California. You know, <laughs> right. you start chilling out in L.A., hanging with the, the cool guys. Uh, but right. because the expectations are really high for you, for your side of the ball, and you look at, you know, the defensive front four, I mean, you could be one of the best in football with, with Hayes and, and Aaron Donald, obviously, who's unbelievable, Robert Quinn and yourself. I mean, it, what's the expectation for you guys defensively? Because we know that offensively uh, you're growing and you're very young. Um, You know, like, like, you know, my coach Greg Williams says, you know, always reprove yourself, and I think that's what we have to do. Uh, coming into this season, you know, we we try not to, uh, you know, read our newspaper clippings and, and, and you know, kind of fall into the hype of uh, what everybody, you know, says about us. We just, we're just coming out and ready to uh, reprove ourselves again to, to earn that number one spot as far as, you know, being the best defensive line in the NFL. I got you. You know, last year, obviously, it was last year, there's no doubt, and, and this hopefully is a different year for you guys. Uh, but, you know, I look at some of the losses here. You scored 10 points in week two, six points in week three, you know, 13 points in week mm. 10, seven in week 12, mm. three points in week 13. I mean, I'm not trying to rub it in. Uh, but, right. Mike, if I'm you, I'm, I'm getting a little pissed off the <laughs> offense. Carry some weight, man. I mean, at what point do they start to pick up the pace and, and contribute? The offense has been bad. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we've been going through this for a couple of years now, but – you know, so far, as far as right now, this year, man, they're looking awesome. They're looking up to par. We're actually having some, you know, real real training camp, you know, days where, you know, the offense gets a couple plays, defense gets a couple plays, and, you know, we kind of go on tit for tat. So, um, and that just shows us that, you know, we're, we're here to compete on both sides of the ball. So, um, I'm really proud of uh, what, what, what I see so far. All right, let's see if it plays out when it actually matters, and hopefully it does. Michael Brockers with us, former first-round pick. Out of LSU back in 2012, no. Rams defensive lineman Tiki and Tierney with us. Now, I know it's the other side of the ball, but should we be concerned about your first-round pick this year, Jared Goff, being third on the depth chart? Or is I, I think it's nothing, but it's out there, and it's becoming a little bit of a story. How's he looked so far? I mean, he's looking great. I mean, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not sh- really sure. You know, that's, that's the coach's job to, you know, fix the depth chart. But, I mean, as far as, you know, what I see at practice and, in the games, man, you know, he looks sharp. He, he's learning, you know, he's a rookie. And then this offense is, you know, a, a whole new thing for him, you know, coming under center and stuff like that. So, um, but for the most part, man, he, he's working every day trying to get better. And, man, that's all we can ask for. Does it ever feel like, you know, because with a lot of rookie quarterbacks, especially coming from the college systems that we see now, when they get into the national football, it's just it's just different, right? And it feels like mentally they can't catch up. The speed is 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 not right for them yet. Uh, do you sense any of that, or is he picking it up? It's just a matter of repetition. Everything is repetition in the National Football League, as we all know. But is it is that yeah. more the issue? I think that's what it is. Just like you said, man, more repetitions for him to to go through. Uh, you know the looks that he needs to see. You know, in college, you see a couple of looks. You know, nobody really holds their shell and and, and ties the bogey and stuff like that. So. Um, you, you get in the league and everybody's, you know, during the play, you know, it's rotating. You understand. And, yep. and you know, all the coverages are different. So um, I just think it's a, a thing about repetitions and, and getting in there and actually seeing seeing those concepts and, and grasping what he has to do uh, as far as getting the, who, who he has to get the ball out to. Now, we all know where the bread, bread's going to be buttered this year for you guys offensively. It's going to be Todd Gurley. How amazing mm. was that season for him last year? It, it, I mean, he was a beast, beast, obviously, and you expected much of the same again in 2016. Oh, or, or even more, man. I mean, uh, practicing against this guy, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm really glad he's on our team, man. His balance, his quickness. Uh, you know his, his how intelligent he is as far as you know finding the gaps to to squeeze through and get every little yard he can get. I mean it's just amazing. So um, as far as you know right now, man, I'm just glad I'm on the same team as the guy. You having fun with hard knocks? Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's it's fun. Uh, it's kind of weird seeing yourself on uh, on hard knocks and going back and you know kind of reliving camp all over again through through. Uh, you know, a fan's perspective. So uh, it, it's it's fun. It's neat. 
Well, I'll tell you what's got to be hard. I mean, if you're William Hayes, the poor guy's things that dinosaurs didn't exist. Mermaids <laughs> are floating around the Pacific. What's up with this guy, man? Could you talk, could you hand him a textbook or, or introduce him to Google at some point, man? Are you kidding me? Man, I don't That's know, your man, man. too, people, man. He's right next to some you. Some people like that, man, you just can't change, man. You just got to let him roll, roll with it, man, and just... You know, show them some uh, attention so they won't feel the, like they're the odd man out. Now, obviously, <laughs> you know, as we, we, we start talking back to football, and, and, and once the season starts, the focus will be on your division. There's a lot of things going on out there, obviously. The, C, the Seattle Seahawks have been as good as they've ever been. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals are the Cardinals. The San Fran's going through a rebuild, and they got a quarterback issue. But where do you see yourselves right now as you, as you, as you match up against the rest of the guys in the division? Um, I mean, I, I can't really answer that as far as right now, man. It's, uh, it's kind of early into it. You know, we got a couple more preseason games, um, some more film to look at. I really just can't answer that right now. I know, it, you know, nobody's played each other, so everybody's on the on the same playing field, you know, at the start of it. So we just got to make sure we come out and, and, and win those first two division games.